This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Looking back on the game, it it uh, it kind of got away from us there in the in the fourth. Uh, you know, Molina just uh, he just he just didn't he didn't throw enough strikes and uh, had a really high pitch count for three innings and. I don't know. Just felt like that we we need to go to Mac. We're going to try to get an inning or two out of him, and you know it didn't work out. Uh, you know he was fine. I think he threw like thirty five pitches on Friday. Um, wasn't on the board yesterday. Was getting him ready for today, and our whole plan was to get him through a couple. Uh, you know we weren't planning on being down by a few runs when we brought him in, but we were, and uh, you know then we were going to probably go to. Just the way we did it, we're going to go to Fouch and then maybe Gackle could throw the seventh, eighth, and ninth, win the game on, uh, you know, that's the way we drew it up. But obviously we got behind, you know, in the first on a home run and then two more in the third and uh, and then and then three more in the fourth. And, you know, so then we just uh, wanted Christian basically to come in, give us an inning, hold it and get it to Gackle and see if we could try to catch up and we came close, you know, it hurt us in them scoring that run in the seventh with uh, the ball that kicked off of Holt's glove a little bit because there was no rush in the outfield there and looked like he rushed it. There's runner on first and uh, just a single up the middle. And, you know, that put us down in a, instead of three, we're down four with, with six outs to get. So that was a little bit disappointing. But, you know, really, when you when you look at the series, we, we didn't do – we didn't play great. Uh, we didn't hit uh, – we didn't pitch very good after Friday, and you know they just beat us. Bob, go ahead. Yeah, Dave. You know you left a couple on there in the first, and that kind of set the tone. I think you left two guys on in four innings, eleven total, and obviously you left guys on in the ninth when you were rallying. Because what 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 you see there with the guys? So many guys left on base. Yeah, we had at least eleven left on, and. You know, the first inning, everything started with two outs. They got a couple outs quick, and then he walked a couple. Our guys did a good job making make him throw strikes, got his pitch count up in the first a little bit, which was good to see. And then we didn't get the big hit, um, you know. With, and then, then they scored a 0-2 count on the hitter. He throws a fastball up, and he clubbed it up into the wind. It blew out of the park barely, and you know, saw our stuff down. But we had a couple of chances – to score a couple of runs, we didn't get the big hit. You know, it was, most of the time it was with two outs. A couple of times it wasn't, but we didn't get it. Bottom line, we didn't get the hit. And, and then um, Hudson White's a guy that uh, he hadn't been hitting great, but he had a pretty good series. Was that a maybe a positive you can take out of this? Now, obviously, Stovall played really well again. Yeah, I mean, we had two guys that have a good series, and that was Stovall and White. If you're just looking for offense, those guys were tough outs. They hit the ball hard. Um, they got hits. Uh, you know, there was a couple of guys that, that walked a little bit for us, but as far as getting hits, uh, not a lot of action there. And, and then their, their guy Moore, um, I guess he did, didn't give up a hit until the fifth. What, what, what'd you see from him? What, what made him effective? Well, he threw a lot of strikes and he had movement, he had sink and we knew that, um, needed to get his pitches up, stay off the low stuff and, Fastball had some sink uh, through a lot of change-ups. They have sink, so you had to see the ball up. And uh, when we did that, you know, we made him pitch. We made him throw more more pitches. Um, but he really never gave up, a, you know, a big hit. And uh, credit to him. Yeah, I might have another one. I see Jackson looking like he's uh, waiting. So I'll turn it back to Oliver. Thanks. Jackson, go ahead. Yeah, Dave, just, just how tough is it? Uh, have you spoken with Will at all? You know, two really good outings and then to kind of have that, you know, another poor one today. Just, you know, what's going to be the conversations like and just how tough is it that he couldn't really string together another good one today? Well, he threw pretty good on Friday. He just didn't throw good today. I think he, you know, the leadoff double, he left that pitch in the middle of the play. What kind of watching the the big screen out there, they, they showed a replay of the pitch from center field and it uh, it had a little bite to it, but it was right down the middle and hitter did a nice job. Just hit it up the middle, got got behind it, shot it to right center. Um, yeah, we haven't talked to him yet. No, we just got done playing. So conversation be is get some rest this week and get get you know get it going this weekend. Sometimes that's that's just what it is. You know, no excuses. We played a lot of games in the last four weeks. 
we've done pretty well. None of our midweek games have been against easy teams. We've had to play hard and pitch hard. And, um, you know, it's uh, tough losing the series, especially on the road like this when we felt like if we could have just swung the bats a little bit better. Uh, but but we didn't we didn't deserve to win this series, honestly. But now we we got finals this week. Um, give the guys a few days off. Get it back going again. Hopefully, play better against Mississippi State next weekend. Yeah, you mentioned the the no no midweek game this week. I mean, just how beneficial maybe the last two weeks of the season having no midweek games, trying to get some some extra time here. Um, you know, it's probably beneficial this week. I don't know. You know, the next week, I guess it's probably beneficial there as well because we play on Thursday. Um, it really just depends on on how you're playing, how you feel. But as many games as we played, like you said, it's uh. It might be good for us to have a little downtime and and uh, you know just kind of get them get them built back up again and see if we can make a push at the end. And last one from me, uh, Fouch and Gackle. They only had one strikeout today, but still really good. I mean, is it good to see those those two power guys kind of pitch to contact and find a, a different way today to to have an effective performance? Yeah, you know, I, I think in uh, you know in Gackle's he knew that he was going to be in there for a while. So he was just trying to get him out. Wasn't really about striking him out, trying to blow him up one inning. Uh, wasn't like a safe situation. So it was really, really matured by him doing that. And, you know, Christian threw the ball with some sink. A couple of times when he left it up, those are the balls that got driven out there a little bit. When he kept it down, he got ground balls and, uh, you know, kept his pitch count down. I think he threw, I got four outs, maybe about 15 pitches or so. So that was really good to see. All right, Bob, wrap it up. Yeah, Dave, you said, you know, disappointing series, but you're still, I think you're 40 and nine. You're still leading the West because uh, LSU took care of the Aggies at least twice, I think. Um, it's just kind of, how, how do you feel about where you are? Because in the SEC, it's going to be pretty hard to, to win every series. Uh, you know, we feel good where we're at. You know, you as a coach, you just, you want to see your team continue to get better. And, you know, I've seen it's been up and down a little bit. You know, I've seen, the hit and fade a little bit. I've seen the pitch and fade a little bit. Then all of a sudden it kicks it back in. But it's kind of baseball. It's just the way it is. Uh, I just want to make sure that, you know, at the end of the season we're healthy and 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 we have a chance when we get to a, get to the playoffs. It looked like Kendall, you know, he he, he um, looked like he might have hurt his shoulder again, but he stayed in the game. I guess I assume he's doing okay or else he wouldn't have stayed in the game. Yeah. You know, we, we talked to him for a long time. He said he was feeling a lot better hurt when he hit the ground and, you know, I was ready to take him out. And uh, he said, no, I'm, I'm fine. I, and talked to him about it two different times. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what happened. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.